Each September, half a million children begin the most important year of school so far. Year seven. CBBC have rigged this secondary school with loads of cameras. So you can see exactly what happens as they make new friends and get into trouble. If you wish to find out how strict I can be, then break the rules I set down. I'm not spotting makeup there, am I? But what they learn here will stay with them forever. Hello there, I'm Mr Thorburn and I'm a science teacher here. If you've ever wondered what secondary school is like, here's your chance to find out. This is our school. How can you do that? It's an early start for one hour school student. <laughs> this is Harry. <laughs> he likes dinosaurs. <laughs> Okie dokie. Want to learn about prehistoric monsters? Harry's your lad. First period was the Cretaceous period. The first dinosaur and Jurassic period was when the what? That giant dinosaur, Cretaceous, was in the last dinosaur. So hang on, dinosaurs. the giant dinosaurs. Yeah, as we're saying, the, well, as the, in the, the T Rex and things like that. Yeah, but not in the Jurassic. They keep in the Cretaceous. Right. So what comes next? I don't know. <laughs> Harry has autism and is part of what we call the Progress Group, which is based over here. OK, you're going to press the button. Well done, you. Woo -hoo! The progress group is for students who need a bit more support. Whatever they're dealing with, the class is here to help them feel more confident. This time, as well as Harry, we'll meet his progress group classmate, James. I can see I'm going to have some fun with this class this year. Got some bright sparks in here, which is excellent. I like that. Every single one of these kids has a lot to offer. I believe in them, but they need to believe in themselves as well. So what kind of a difference will it make for James and Harry? Unsurprisingly, Harry's home has a bit of a dino theme. Harry, what's your favourite thing in the world? Reptiles, white dragons, crocodiles, lizards, turtles, drag dinosaurs. <sighs> Including other prehistoric reptiles like Megalania, Nia, Titanoboa. <laughs> Harry's autism makes it hard for him to communicate with others and make friends. It also gives him his unusual accent. So, to you, Harry, what do you think the word autism means? Do you have any ideas? I don't know. You don't? I absolutely do not know what it means. Okay. But I think it knows I'm a bit special. <laughs> But Harry's autism doesn't stop him doing what he loves, like climbing up this massive wall every Wednesday night. What about climbing gear? Do you wear all the climbing yeah, gear? Yeah, we have to wear that, otherwise we're just... Ah! <sighs> Look at him go. So how high do you think you get, then? Yeah, sometimes up to... That high? Sometimes. And do you not get scared of heights? I used to be no longer. For Harry, the really hard thing can be making a connection to other people. He's never had a proper friend in his life. So how, Harry? Harry, how, is imp how important is it for you to make friends around the school? It's just so I can have lots of friends and get used to other people. Bringing friends home would be lovely because yeah. he's always been a well-liked child, but mm. he's never really been invited to many parties. Mm. People haven't really invited him home for tea. You know, he hasn't had that, so that would be great. So, will things change at secondary? Will Harry find a friend? It's all down to him. Woohoo! Harry's classmate, James, is very practical. He loves building stuff. I like making things because it, it just, like, takes my mind off everything and I can just concentrate on this. Nobody's got to distract me all the time. Although I like making things, when I grow up, I'd like to be a demolition expert in that, because I like building things, but I also like destroying things. 
you get to like plant C4 and stuff like that and you get to like say 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and then blow it all up. James has dyslexia, which means that he struggles with his reading and at writing down the ideas he has in his head. When I like do writing at school, I find it tricky because I, I, I just can't like write properly. And at his primary school, James didn't always get the support that he wanted. Because the teacher couldn't read it, so I had to do it again and again and again, which really got annoying because um, that's my best I could do. It's not a subject he finds it easy to talk about. But maybe his time in the progress group will help James feel better about his dyslexia. In you come. Back in school, Harry and James have history and a chance to meet their teacher, Mr Smith. This is my finger of doom. Oh, my goodness. And when I ask a question with my finger of doom, then you have to answer it. <laughs> finger of doom! Uh, history is about things that happened in the past. Spectacular answer. How things happen and when things happen is really important. What happens if I try to walk through this door without opening it? Shall we try it out? Yeah, OK. Can I do it? The progress group works with the students until they're able to join the main school. But to do that, they'll really have to show their teachers that they're ready. We're almost there. Now we get, and now I understand the planes were first, then those cars, then this. Mr Smith is a particularly handy choice for progress group teacher. Like James, he has dyslexia. OK, fantastic. By the way, if you see me wearing blue glasses, that's because I'm dyslexic. I find reading difficult and it helps me out. I'm not trying to look cool because that's impossible. Mr Smith, he's a really fun guy and um, he's also had um, dyslexia and stuff like that. Spectacular, what a good answer. That's fantastic. So he's been through the whole process and stuff of, like, what I'm going through now. Fantastic. Meeting Mr Smith has helped James, who seems to be settling into life at school. Just don't get him started on One Direction. Do you like One Direction? No. Oh. The worst. The worst people in the world. But do you know Zayn is getting married? Who? Yeah. Zayn's getting married and he bought his mum a house. Who, Zayn? That didn't impress the girls, but James is already proving that he's a bit of a whiz at maths. Yes! In your first science, or maths, whatever we're doing. You leave me no choice but to give Look, you ten credits. Really? Seriously. Get in there. Harry's settling into school too. Today, he's got PE. Because he doesn't always do what he's supposed to. Whoa, cheating. Go back, do it again. Bounce the ball. Go back and bounce the ball. Harry has a teaching assistant with him to keep him focused. One more, one more. Careful. Got it. That's it, brilliant. Dribble back. <laughs> Break time is always busy. A noisy new world for Harry to get his head around. Like a lot of the progress group, he's not keen on crowds. So Harry likes to hang out in the learning support room where it's nice and quiet. The topic of conversation, dinosaurs. I have all of that dinosaurs, even those from the prehistoric times. Um, what is your favourite kind of dinosaur? I like them all. Do you not have a favourite? Yeah, favorite? the dinosaurs, 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 two hours later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the sneaky thought, I love this. <laughs> Every look for right there. For two? Yes. No. Lessons are OK, but Harry would much rather play Dinosaurs and Monsters. Harry is the kind of kid who loves, absolutely loves dinosaurs. Oh, I found one with dinosaurs on. I think that's Harry's. What we're going to do is you're going to now tell me something have pirates, put your hand up. Yes, Harry. Uh, I've got, I got sea monsters. Just, you get, you get... They're cousins of sea reptile monsters. Yes, but what I'd like you to do is give me something that's about pirates, Harry. Yes, sir. Harry, do you want to stay in the progress group forever? 
or do you feel like at some point that you might be able to move out? What do you think? Um, I haven't thought of that yet, but I'll let you know when I, if I want to. You'll let me know. So for now, you feel happy in yeah, there? Yeah, uh, for now I'm feeling safe. I stay with them, just for now. OK. Meanwhile, James's dyslexia is getting him down. Reading and writing can be really difficult. Can you just read a question out for me? Of course, I can't. Don't Number four, Mars Fair. The flooring room room requires 23 more tiles. So we could write it like this: plus 23, couldn't we? Excellent. Back away now. Right. Once you've packed away, you may go. But Mr. Smith has spotted James's frustration. James, can you got five minutes? Yeah. Excuse, please. Just want to have a quick chat with you, all right, mm. about how you're feeling. Because you and I share the same things, don't we? Mm -hmm. We have the same problem. What's the problem that we share? Can't write. Can't write, yes. What do we call that? What's the name for it? Beginning with the... What do I call myself all the time? Dyslexic. Dyslexic. Do you find it frustrating when you have ideas here? and you can't get them on the paper. Yeah, that's, that's the worst. Is that the worst bit? I find that the worst as well. And a lot of people don't understand that if you find it difficult to write, that doesn't mean that you don't understand, doesn't mm. it? Yeah? So it all, it all goes on your writing, it doesn't go on what you know. Exactly, right. What would you want other people to know about being dyslexic? How hard it is. How hard? What do you mean by how hard it is? Like, um... Here's your next question. OK, that's fine. What I would want people to know, OK, is that I'm not stupid. Because I used to feel when I was at school that I couldn't think properly. Because I used to think that it was a problem with me. Well, you're, you're, you're really smart because you, you're a teacher. Yeah, but I didn't think so when I was at school. Because everyone else could do all the different things, could do all the writing and could read... But it doesn't really matter, properly. you're a teacher. I bet some of your friends aren't a teacher. I bet some of your that's true. friends work in... The uh, master or somewhere like that. Well, yeah, uh, but that's what I want you to think about, you see. Because I know that it feels really bad right now. OK? I know that it does, because I felt that bad. I used to think I couldn't do anything. I was rubbish. And then I remember exactly the day that I thought, actually, I'm quite clever. And I was out of school, and somebody was talking, and I knew the answer to the question, and nobody else in the room knew the answer. And I went... I'd love that. Oh, I'm I really, pretty clever, I, then. I, I really would love that. And you probably will. You'll find point and you will know the answer and no one else will. Because there's other things that we're good at that other people might not be. Been like, it's good to have a chat, OK? Thank you very much, James. OK? A big part of the progress group is trying to help pupils with their social skills so it's easier for them to make friends and work together. Now, I know for a fact in here about 70% of you find it difficult working with others. The class are split into pairs and asked to come up with a presentation together. Right, Harry, would you work with Kyra for me, please? Who? The young lady is waving at you. Would you... No, no, I know, I know, but I want you to work with people you wouldn't normally work with. Making a connection to other people is something Harry often struggles with. Listen, I know how this could work. You could tell Kyra all about dinosaurs, cos I know you're a bit of a, an expert. Then you're passing on your knowledge, your expertise. No, 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 I'm not going there. I just don't want to do it. OK, Sir? you don't have a choice. I want you to do it. Harry's a bit tricky to get to know because sometimes he listens, but sometimes he doesn't. Harry's still refusing to talk to Kyra about their presentation. Listen, Harry, you've got to discuss with Kyra your talk, OK? Cos you're going to be talking to the rest of the class about this in, like, five minutes. Ew. OK, so no more drawing. Don't, please don't draw. But that's... I even don't know her. The way you're going to help is by talking to her. Right. Come on, then. It's showtime, but it's ended up a bit one-sided. We're talking about Jurassic Park. There's a picture of the island. 
I enjoyed Jurassic Park because it had all different types of dinosaurs. There were some of these. There were Tyrannosaurus, Velociraptors, Pythosaurus, and Pothosaurus, Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus, Rhinosaurus, Raptors, Raptors, Velociraptors. So what was it again? No, no, no. Very well done. Have a seat, OK? If Harry's going to make friends at school, he's going to have to let other people get to know him, which is hard. Every two weeks, the progress group get to do something unusual. This lesson is <gasps> Fruity Friday. Yay! So, because it's Fruity Friday and because you've worked so well, this is the reward you get. Nobody else in the school gets this. As part of Fruity Friday, Mr Smith hands out special hats as a reward for the last fortnight's work. This one is my bright ideas hat. This is for the person who had the best bright idea or logical ideas in the last two weeks. And that is going to be Lauren, because Lauren had some brilliant ideas. She has been our best thinker. Round of applause, please. <laughs> Find and sort out problems. So people that have had a problem and have sorted it out, that is for James. James, I've seen you help people, so you put that on. Round of applause, please, for James. He has been helping people. Well done, solving problems. Fruity Friday is also when the teachers announce if anyone's going to leave the progress group and return to the main school. The first to go is this lad, Leo. From Monday onwards, Leo's going to join his tutor group and integrate into um, all of his lessons with his tutor group. That's because of the efforts he's shown over the last week and a half and because we feel that he'd be better placed there. So well done, Leo. So can well we have another round of and applause? For Leo. Leo. Well done, Leo. <laughs> And now the fun time. You get fruit! Seeing Leo leave the group has given James plenty to think about. Inspired by Leo's success, James is in the library at lunchtime to get his head down. I've lost my good pen. Where's Mr Smith then? That's Mr what... Smith. I didn't say Smith. Well, it does in my world. <laughs> James has been thinking a lot about the progress group. With the progress group, I'd m much rather like move to like main class. Part of it is that he's really missing his friends in main school. <laughs> George! My friends have been saying that they want me back and stuff because I'm like a really fun character and I bring it to the class. My plan is to get um, like really good so I can move out of the progress group and I can like hopefully like start getting back. So James has a plan, but his friends have other ideas. Oh. <laughs> right, stop it now. I need to do my homework. <laughs> Don't fling my pencils! <laughs> if he can get his pens back, maybe James can show what he can do. Meanwhile, Harry's back in learning support, and he could be about to make his first friend. <laughs> Has Harry finally met his match in Year 8 student, Ethan? Well, you see Clash of the Titans! <laughs> These guys were all of the Wars of the Dinosaurs relatives, and then they evolved into smaller creatures like Cobstognathus and Coelophythus and Pereosaurus. even big and, then, but sometimes it's a huge one with a mighty Tyrannosaurus and the Triceratops. So it was bigger than that, like Spinosaur or Acrocathosaurus and Giganosaurus, also known as Gigantosaurus. With Harry, I like the fact that um, he's into dinosaurs because that was actually the first obsession that I had. And I know almost everything about him that we, that humanity knows. So, what, when was the first time you actually learned about Goldenopsis anyway? Some of the words they use, I, I don't even know those words. I think Pocasuchus... Pocasuchus! Right, Pocasuchus is actually the ancestor I'm of... I'm cracking out. Yeah. It's like having two professors discussing dinosaurs sometimes. Harry seems to have found a friend. I got eight. 
God knows how I am actually not angry with you. <laughs> right, guys, sandwiches away, otherwise, I will eat them. Hmm. <laughs> Phones away, okay. otherwise, I will sell them. Sell them? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Progress Group has maths with Mr. Waterson. I'm going to introduce you to probability. But first, there's a surprise for James. I was given these earlier. Ah, what are these, you ask? A good question. I'm not going to tell you, because I might know what's in these envelopes, but they're not addressed to me. And they're not addressed to you either. So, legally speaking, you're not allowed to open these, because it says parents oh. of James Barker. You're... I'll tell you what. In front of the entire class, I need an assurance from you. You're not going to open this till you get home. Yeah, you have to make the Right? Smiling. What happens? What do you think, miss? If he <laughs> opens this before he gets home, what do we make him do? Give him the Give him the Super duper. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Do not open it until you get home. Otherwise, you'll be spending some time with me picking chewing gum off the underside of tables. Oh, gross. Put in bag. And it's not just James. Classmate Kyra is getting a letter too. Not till you get home. Well, today at school I got this envelope off Mr Waterson and I, said, and I wasn't allowed to... Um, open it. Open it, yeah. Now I really want to know what's inside it. Dun, dun, dun. You uh, curious about what's in the letter? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you, you're just going on my nerves now, you really oh. are. Oh, I do apologise. Yeah. Over in art, speculation is rife. What could the letter be? Parents of James Barker. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think, I, I'm not sure. I try to look through the light, but I can't see anything. Detention. Oh yeah, it could say you've got six weeks of detention. <gasps> no, you might go to isolation. Oh, no. I could get, no, it could, it could say you've been suspended forever. <laughs> well, hopefully it's good news and not bad news, cos I don't want it to be bad news, cos that won't be good. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Finally, it's the end of the day, and James takes his letter home. Hi. 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 Mum, I got a letter today. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, is this good news? I hope so. I wonder what it can be. Maths Academy. Oh, my word, James. Based on your intel assessment of your child, means me, yeah. <laughs> um, James has been placed in set three. This will take effect from Monday. That's brilliant, James. Hello, Group James. three, well done. Are you going to give me a hug? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty excited myself now. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good news, James. That's really good news. I'm very proud of you, James. Very proud. He's done so well in his maths that James will be moved into the main school for those lessons. It's a huge achievement. <laughs> yeah! Today is a big day for Harry. <laughs> He's invited a friend home. Hey. Hey, Harry. Oh, hi, Ethan's dad. What's your name, Tom? I found the dinosaur. Hey, Mom, Ethan bought this guy. Well, I can see something. Like an official oh. dress of Wow. He's a great friend, and he's a great best friend, friend in the whole world. The fox is out! Wiring <laughs> missiles. <laughs> Shoot this guy! <laughs> I definitely know more about dinosaurs than Harry. Hey! I know twice more! They don't. Yes, they do. They don't. Yes, they do! They don't. That doesn't work! Shut that shut! 
<laughs> well, famous is shoot. Yes. I just still no more. I still no more. I won. I still no more. The first term at secondary school has been a real success for Harry. This year it has been great. It's great, 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 He's done so brilliantly, and I'm very proud of him. Um, but then I guess I always am, because he's pretty marvellous. That has been awesome! <laughs> it's non-uniform day, but the progress group have bigger things to think about. It's also Fruity Friday, and James and Kyra's send-off. So... We have our hat award first. I want that one. This one is the one that made me people that made me laugh this week or in the last two weeks. Oh, it is the it is the comedian hat that goes to James. Well yeah. done, James. Yeah. Round of applause for James. I'm wearing this. At the start of Con News, I felt like nervous, like I don't know what's gonna happen and I might not find the rooms. But when you get in there, here. You... Yeah, you're fine. It doesn't actually hurt. I think that. James isn't limited by his fear of his dyslexia anymore. It doesn't stop him doing anything. There's only one girl that's got a hat. Who? You! <laughs> there are two people in the group this week who got a letter telling them some good news, positive news, and that was that they are leaving the lesson that they have for maths with Mr Waterson. And that's because they've worked exceptionally hard. Now, those two people, Kyra and James. Well done. <laughs> Woo! Right, and of course, because it's Fruity Friday, what do we get to eat? Fruity! Leaving the progress group will be good and sad at the same time, because I'm leaving my friends. <laughs> I'm like, yee! And I'll, but I'll be happy because I'm going to, like, um, meet... Be with your other friends. Yeah, be with all your other friends. <laughs> James has proved something to himself and everybody else. Can he work, fella? <laughs> Next time on Our School, Owen has homework trouble. I'm this morning, so, oh, let's have a double check, cos I'm wondering if that's the case, Owen. Iman learned some Japanese. Konnichiwa. And Harry shows his cheeky okay. side. Yes, Harry? You fly, Shindo. Right, thanks for noticing that. Uh, action! Hello? Why can't I just test it if it's working? Uh, How many times does seven appear? Four, three, six, five. Whoa, which is it? This video is over! Oh, hurry, oh. Video is over now. Gotta go, gotta go. Hurry.